Social situations can be tough. There always seems to be a way that we should handle our interactions with people. It gets overwhelming. Learning how the brain operates can help you understand why people are behaving in certain ways and what to do in response. From making a good first impression to winning an argument, we're here to let you in on a couple of secrets. But what kinds of tips and tricks can you use in everyday situations? Are you curious on how you can begin to read people? Here are seven psychological tricks that actually work. One, make a better first impression by going first or last. Here's a great tip when it comes to making an awesome first impression. Go first or last. This only works when you're in a group, but it's definitely worth remembering. Known as the serial position effect, this is when people remember you much more clearly if you're first or last in a list. This is very helpful in job interviews or when you're meeting a person and want to make a lasting impression. Two, the best way to get someone to do you a favor. There are a number of ways to ask for a favor, but the most effective methods are rooted in psychology. The next time you ask a friend to help you out, consider making use of the reciprocity effect. Simply put, people are more likely to do you a favor if you've already done something for them in the past. Please don't make this the only reason why you help people, but the people you help will be much more likely to return the favor later on when you find yourself in a pinch. The good you put out in the world will eventually come back to you. Three, when asking a group of people for help, target individuals first. Convincing a single person to help you is hard enough, but winning over an entire group is almost impossible at times. But if you're smart, you'll use the bystander effect to your advantage. Humans are much less likely to help an individual in need if they're part of a group or crowd. Because of this, you'll have much more success if you approach members of a group individually, gradually convincing everyone and getting the help you need. Four, how to find out who someone really likes. It's always interesting to figure out the strongest connections between people. In any group, there's always a few people who share a much deeper connection with each other compared to the others. Sometimes these deeper connections can be romantic ones. Often, it's a little difficult to spot these strong social connections, but laughter could be the answer. Studies have shown that when we laugh together in a group, we'll automatically look at those we have an amicable relationship with. We don't always glance at the person we like the most in a group, but it's always someone we have a good relationship with. Five, the power of mirroring. Mirroring is when people mimic each other's mannerisms and behaviors, usually during conversation. Most of the time, we do this subconsciously, but if you really want to build trust, you might want to give the relationship a little nudge with the power of mirroring. Try nodding when they nod during conversations, or use your hands to convey your words in a similar style, but don't do it immediately or it'll be too obvious. Research has shown that this technique builds trust and makes the other person feel more comfortable around you. Six, wanna win an argument? Just speak faster. Winning an argument isn't always easy, and sometimes it helps to have a card up your sleeve. One of the most effective methods might also be one of the simplest, just talk faster. Research has shown that when people speak quickly, they're generally seen as being more knowledgeable. It's also harder for people to refuse quick fire points because their mind has to work harder to interrupt what we're saying. Seven, remind people they're free to do whatever they want and they'll be more likely to do what you want. People don't like feeling as if they have no choice. I've always hated when I was forced to do something against my will seven years of piano. So if you can create that illusion of choice, you'll generally have a better chance of convincing someone to do something. You're not even lying to them. You're simply reminding them that they're free to do whatever they want. Of course, they knew this deep down, but reminding them of the fact makes you seem less pushy and it increases the chance of them agreeing with you. It's a simple trick that's totally honest and non-manipulative and research has shown that it works wonders. Now that we've equipped you with these seven simple psychological tricks, it's time to go out into the real world and try them out. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Try not to be manipulative or malevolent with these tricks. Have you tried any of these methods before? What are some psychological tricks that you've used in social situations? Let us know in the comments below.